Hi, I'm Catherine and welcome back to my channel. I am back with another Amazon swimsuit try on haul. We just had our third baby and I am currently six months postpartum. A lot of the swimsuits that I've had before and that were in my last try on video do not fit me anymore. So I thought I would do another haul to show you guys what I am looking for at this phase of my life with my body that I have right now. I will have all of the sizes that I ordered down below in the description box because some of them are not on these tags that I have in front of me. So I will make sure that all the sizes are down below. This first one that I tried on is a full one piece as you can see in the B-roll that I'm putting up on here too. It has this amazing zipper up the back, which you can easily do on your own. It has very long sleeves with one of the thumb holes in the middle. Another thing about this one that is a little wild when you try it on is the cups. They are not like inserts. It's a full on like cup. Like it's, it's super, super structured, um, which is, helpful and nice and I, I appreciate it, but it's also like if it's not in the right spot, then you got like double boobs going on and that's not, not helpful. I love that it comes with these thumb holes. The only thing that I didn't really like is if you don't want to use them, it's really bunched up on your arm, but I, that's probably just a per personal preference. Other than that, I absolutely loved this one, especially because I am 5'11", I have a very long torso. Generally, with swimsuits like this, or one pieces, are very tight and they just feel like they're hunching me over. This one, with it being long sleeved and everything, I was really worried that it would make me feel like I was being pulled together. Is that the best way to describe that? Anyway, um, it did not do that and it fit, which I absolutely love. I thought it was really flattering and a great for times when I'm going to be spending a lot of time outside in the water and the sun so I can have less sun exposure, less sunscreen, and it's also really, really cute. The next one I tried on, let's just jump into this, was a two piece in this bright neon green color. I really liked this one as well. The front detailing that looks like crisscross and then the back of it has the lace up on it and the bottoms you can either have pulled out to start with or you can ruche them up and tie them in a bow on each side. This one hit in just the right spot on my hips and waist and I liked how supportive it felt. I am still nursing right now and uh, my chest is bigger than it like ever is when I'm nursing. I'm very, very flat chested otherwise, so I appreciate a little bit of support uh, during this time of my life. I also paired this cover up with the neon green one. Then you can roll up the sleeves. I actually own this one in peach, I believe is what they call it on Amazon. I'll link it down below as well, but I or ordered it in white because I thought that that would also go with a lot of the bathing suits that I have and I am not sorry that I did. This one is super flattering. You can wear it down, button it up. You can tie it around your waist. It's um, definitely a staple and a really good one to have in the summertime for layering when the night gets cooler or you can wear it as a cover up. Here is another cup she bathing suit. This one is a one piece. I ordered a few more of those this time because I wasn't sure what I was going to feel most comfortable and confident in in my six month postpartum body. You just never know how you're gonna feel during this stage. So this one has the ruching along the stomach and it kind of keeps everything in and it's more flattering. I like the V-neck, the deeper V-neck in the front. I like the ruffling over the shoulders. It reminds me of the royal blue two-piece swimsuit that I tried on in my last video last year that I really, really liked. This one does not have adjustable straps, but I did not think that it was too loose or too tight. It seems like it fit without falling off your shoulders, and I was I felt very secure in it, but it also didn't like dig into the shoulders, which is really nice. And another one-piece. I'm generally not a one-piece bathing suit person, typically because of how long it takes to get off when you have to go to the bathroom. You just have this like super wet piece of clothing or like a lot of super wet clothing that's really hard to take off and pull back on and two pieces are just easier in my mind. But these are really, really cute and I wanted to try them to see if it was something that I would feel more confident in. This one has the opening in the front, which I really like, another V-neck but kind of has a twist in the front. I like that you can adjust the straps as needed and the back closure was really simple to put on and off. Still has a little bit of an opening in the back too. It gave plenty of coverage. 
in all of the right places and then keeps you secure in all the right places. Overall, I really liked this one as well. I think that everybody should have a black bathing suit that they feel confident and good in. I had one from Aerie, I believe, like American Eagle, um, two years ago, but it started to show its wear and tear because I wear it all the time. It was a very similar silhouette to this, actually probably more thick like this strap is instead of the spaghetti strap. But um, these ones have adjustable straps as well. I really, really like how flattering the bottoms on this one were. They come up a little bit higher. It's a little bit cheekier in the back, but not too much. And I just think it really helps and make your legs look longer in the front. Right now, I am like wider in my thighs and my hips than I ever have been, which again, is totally fine. I just am trying to figure out how to dress myself so I feel more confident because my body has changed so much after having three kids. The other thing that I look for when I'm doing swimsuits like this is are they nursing friendly and luckily all of these are stretchy and easy to pop out a boob when you need to feed the baby. And I also paired this black one again with the white cover up which I think makes it a really like classic elegant look especially when you pair it with I don't have it with me, the giant hat like in the thumbnail. I'll put up a picture somewhere here. That big hat, the big sunglasses, the black and the white, it just feels really classy and fun. I fell in love with these sunglasses when I saw them online. I went through all of the Amazon reviews and looked at all the pictures of the people wearing them and I thought that they just looked so fun. And you can see it in the B-roll too. I don't know what I'll show as I'm talking about these, but I think they are just so fun. So you're gonna see my like filming set up here, but can't help the reflection. They're just, they're huge, they're oversized, and I think that they are just super fun. They come in a ton of colors. I don't, I'm pretty sure all of them were reflective like this. I did see some reviews that said that they scratch really easily, so I am keeping them in like this cheapy little plastic thing that they came in to try to protect them, but I'm guessing I'll probably scratch them soon. I know I'm not really careful. I try to be as careful as I can with things, but usually my sunglasses get thrown in the car when I have three kids, you know, running around trying to get them situated but I love these, definitely keeping them. They're just fun. I ordered seven bathing suits, six of them I liked, and this one was just a fail. Um, this top I actually really liked. I don't have any B-roll of me trying it on, and I'll get to that in just a second. I liked the top, and this is why I ordered it, because it isn't a normal halter that goes around your neck. It has like the tank style, I guess, so it ties in the back, but it goes over your shoulders like a tank instead of around your neck. Um, which I thought just could be a fun ch change. Plus I really like this purple color. Where it gets dicey is the bottom. So I originally ordered this in a medium and I got it in and it just kept falling off me no matter how tight I did the sides and it was really bunched up in the front, just like not in a flattering way. I don't know if any bunching would ever be flattering. Um, but I couldn't tie this in any way that made it um, not just completely go up my butt, I guess, is the only way to say it, which like this isn't made to do. I'm not sure. I just did, it did not look good or flattering at all. Like it was just completely bunched up and I guess I just don't have the correct body type for whatever it was made for to look like. I don't know. Either way, it was a fail and that's okay. Um, just not appropriate for me to put any B-roll of that on there. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down below telling me which swimsuit was your favorite. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.